question is why do pro cyclists i should say like proper pro cyclists hate rim brake bikes uh, so rather why do they hate disc brake bikes now every single pro i've talked to nobody wants to go on record obviously because that's against sponsors but everyone i talked to this year last year they all hate disc brakes the mechanics absolutely hate the disc brakes all right I'm not going to mention any names. I'm going to burn any bridges. I've already done that enough. But uh, for being honest and open about certain things. But the the World Tour riders and the mechanics freaking hate disc brakes. I'm, I'm trying not to use the word the F-bomb here because of uh, YouTube algorithm. YouTube doesn't like when I swear. The videos don't get uh, launched up. So I'll try and be a good boy. A good little drone rider. But man, they hate the disc brakes. The riders hate it. There's so many clips on YouTube getting around, and uh, it's it's hilarious. Now, I'm a fan of disc brakes. Don't get me wrong. I've used them on my mountain bike. I've used them on a road bike and that. But when it comes to performance riding like this on the road, dry conditions, even wet road conditions, there's nothing beats the rim brake for speed. If you want speed, man, rim brake. Just lighter, easier, faster wheel changes. The mechanics job's easier in the day. Everybody hates the disc brakes in the peloton. The disc brakes are just universally hated, but nobody can speak out in 2020 because sponsors are like, hey, hang on, we pay the bills, all right? You guys are paid to use our products. Don't be dragging on it. So you get that, I get that, totally get that. But there's dummies out there. There's dummies out there. People are like, Harley, you know, you, you disc brakes, and then you, 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 you go, go and get, get it on record, get a pro on record to say, I want to I wanna hear a pro say that. It's like, <laughs> idiots. Are you serious? You know, like, pretty much most of the World Tour Peloton know who I am, watch my videos, like it or not like it, whatever. But they're all, you know, watching for weight loss and what's this going about, you know, especially the English speaking writers. The Anglo Saxons are watching my stuff, they know who I am. Love it or not. And uh, so when they talk to me, when I have a bit of a talk about disc brakes, and they just sort of, you know, they roll eyes, like, yeah, yeah, and they're like, you know what the deal is. It's like, you know, and a few riders who go and won't go on record just fucking hate it. And they just, oh, I just, I just said the F word. God, oh, I always do that, don't I? So, you know, the disc brakes, let's talk about why disc brakes would be an advantage. I would feel uh, disc brakes would advantage for me if I was racing down a hill, the disc brakes would be good because I could put a, a 40 mil tire on there and really hook it down the down the mountain a lot better than a little 23 or 25. So disc brakes, if, if I had to do a race down a hill, they're better because you can have better tire clearance. You know, you can put 40s on there. If you, if you want to go fast downhill, put on a 40 millimeter slick or a 50 millimeter slick, man, you can, you'd be doing like 120 k an hour with confidence. All right? Not that I recommend doing that, because if a kangaroo jumps out and you do a 120 on your bicycle, you know, you better be liking hospital food. Just saying, just saying. If I had a competition to go downhill, I'd want discs because you've got better tyre clearance, you know. But uh, these Shimano brakes work fantastic. You know, the, the rim brakes work fantastic. So just letting you know, all right, if you want to get a disc brake bike, you go ahead and do it. But don't think it's an upgrade. Don't get lied to or make the assumption that the world tour riders are choosing disc brakes they're not all right so why most sponsors now are demanding the riders use disc brake by the forcing the riders not to not track bmc specialized they there's no option it's like if you want to ride our bike or if you want to ride a bike what the contract says you have to ride disc all right that's why you saw if you look closely at the world championships there's more the riders can use whatever. And so you see a few guys out there, like Michael Valgren, etc. Oops, I mentioned a name. He was using rim brake. All right, so if you're paying attention out there, all right, paying attention. And uh, I don't like disc brakes on my road bike because I like performance and I don't like the rubbing rotors, a little ting, 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 ting. That's okay, my gravel bike and my mountain bike, I'm just cruising along. But if I'm going for every second, you know, I'm just a weekend warrior, you know, and I, I want to, I need every second to hang on the wheel of these pro tour riders in january or the or the guys who are doing five six hundred k's a week you know i need every little bit of every little watt saved to hang on the wheel and i don't want the rubbing rotors just dropping off five ten watts in ch chopping off my uh, my efforts there so there you go that's the deal and it's some teams like jumbo visma their lotto they are sticking with rim brakes 
Team Sky, sticking with rim brakes, so that they're the teams who have a lot of money, and they can choose, they can choose the power there. So there you go. Don't, don't be thinking it's an upgrade. All right. So if you want to get disc brake bike, I, I do recommend go out and get a disc brake bike, road bike, just so you can really understand what I'm going on about. All right. Go and get one. Go and get one. Ride on a hot day up and down the mountains. Listen to the rotors rubbing. Then when you bend a bend a rotor, or the rotor comes pre-bent from the factory, or the the heat seal and your caliper dongs up and you're contaminating your pads and you lose braking on a descent. That's pretty scary, man. When your disc brake pads start getting contaminated with oil from the expanding H seal and you've got no front brake, you know, that's that's a bit concerning on some of the downhills. Rim brake should have that issue. So there you go, just letting you know. Just giving you a heads up. Disc brake ain't an upgrade. All right? On the mountain bikes it definitely is because you got better, you need more powerful brakes than a mountain bike. But for road, how, how powerful do you need your brakes? You know. If you need more powerful brakes than Shimano road calipers, rim calipers, then you probably need to work on your skills and your practice and your skills. All right? So there you go. And they're also more expensive. Disc brakes more expensive because whilst you're not wearing out rims as much, you're wearing out rotors and pads, and they ain't cheap. You know, do the maths. Do the maths. You know, a Chinese carbon or alloy rim like a Kinlin is you know fifty bucks to two hundred bucks. These rotors, man, these rotors can be a hundred bucks a, an end. So there you go, you can chew through them a lot. And so money-wise for me, rim brake for the win. And also, there's so many second-hand wheels out there now, good condition going for dirt pennies. Anyway, that's the deal, why pros hate disc brakes.